Hi guys, welcome back. The number one question for years I always get asked is how to cue off the rail. Amateurs all over the world seem to struggle with this. When I'm in the booze with my friends and I see a lot of people having a game of pool, I see it all the time. Today, we're gonna to cover it, how to cue off the rail. Tip one, the bridge. All amateurs I see making this huge mistake, the way they put the hand on the rail. So, they put the hand on and they're queuing down on the ball. In a pot like this, where it's very close from the cue ball to the object ball, you might get away with it a little bit more times. So they queue in, they're going like this, and they can hit it. Where this falls down is if we go over here, where there's distance. So from the cue ball to the object ball, you can see it's about three times the distance as that. So now when they're queuing, they can put a little bit of side on the cue ball, and a little bit of side on the cue ball means it's gonna swerve before it gets to the object ball, and you're gonna miss the money ball. There you see, do not do this. We've already covered this with your bridge hand this causes unwanted spin on the cue ball. Now you can see, you can see the cue ball swerving a little bit. And when that gets to the object ball, you will miss the pot. Now you can see nice flat bridge. Obviously go away, practice that. Make sure it's really solid. And this will give you more consistency cueing off the rail. There you see the black line rolling fairly straight. So what to do, a little tip for you, put your cue on the rail first, so there you can see the cue is on the rail, slightly cueing down on the rail, and then bring your hand to the cue, so you're not like this, so you've got your cue on the rail, bring your hand up, then you can see it's quite compact, and then push the ball and pop the ball. Now, when you come to the more difficult shots like this, same again, cue on the rail, put your hand up. It's always nice to listen to the cue rubbing on the rail, you can feel it as well. Nice and compact. So let's have a look from the side on view. So as you can see, the cue is slightly down. It's not like this. And of course, if it was like that, there you see that silly movement you don't want. So your cue slightly down. Bring your hand up to meet it. And then you're just cueing through the ball. Yeah, touching the rail, cueing through. Also, don't jab it like this. Try not to jab. Just because it's on the rail, don't be scared of pushing the cue right through. Yeah? There you see again, side on. You can feel the rail, you can hear it as well. Coming back and pushing through. Again, many amateurs on the rail, they hold the cue too far back. This causes unbalance and very seesaw-like queuing. I will release another video and we'll go through that. But just keep an eye on this. Very handy if you've got a mirror as well. You can look at yourself in the mirror. And there you can see my hand is going all the way down straight towards my leg. And that will just mean you're queuing the ball more consistently. Again, I will release a video more in depth. So I've set a little scenario up here. We're on the rail. We're just off straight on the eight ball. And this isn't just about potting the ball. 
So we need to get a little bit more cue distance from our bridge jam to the ball so we've got enough power going through to get back for the nine. So let's have a look at this situation. As you can see, just off straight, if we was just putting the eight, again, nice and compact, putting the eight. But if we was trying to get on the nine ball, you haven't really got enough power to get through. You'd have to really hit that hard and it's not gonna be that easy. So as you can see there, it's only just coming back to there. Now, this is tricky and it's very, very high level, not easy to do. Obviously, the main thing is we keep our cue like this. But what we can do is get our bridge hand nearer the back of the rail, you see. So you can see my hand there. So let me just show you here. Whenever you need a bit more cue, so there you see, it's only coming back about three, four inches. So that's how much power you've got. If you move your hand back, look how much more cue you've got. Now, again, for amateurs and lower level players, this is not easy. It's very, you know, professional and high end and top level players. But the other thing what I like to do, and many of the top guys, is push your hand against the rail so you can see it. My finger's almost like turning purple. So I'm actually leaning into the rail, which is giving it a bit more stability. It's a little bit shaky now. So let's have a look. So this would be just to pot the eight, but now we need to position and get back for the nine. And there you can see, coming around not great but it's a shot on the nine so there it is queuing off the rail i hope that helps guys if you've any questions stick them in the comments i'll answer as soon as i can remember nice flat bridge stay still oh and don't forget to chalk your cue